do, man. Pussy, man. Lord. A nigga like me, man. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. You feeling like one of them ball playing hey. niggas, you know? Like bird, magic, or something. Yeah, you know a nigga got though. A nigga can leave the league. Let's see. Leave. The fans still Let's see, that's man. okay. Thanks for joining me again, MP. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Of course. It's a pleasure. Um, by the way, Mila really wanted to be here for this one, but I know it was a challenge, you know, trying to make the schedule line, but next we, time. We tried. We definitely tried. I mean, I was able to get a few tidbits from her uh -huh. on the phone, at least. So it was nice to get some of her perspectives as we finish up the story. Uh, the last chapter. <laughs> you know, it's been fun reliving some of those moments uh, with you. It's been surprisingly enlightening series of interviews know, for me. <laughs> so the only thing is I don't have an ending. Oh, oh, uh, everything worked out um, and everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess we're done here, but no, but seriously. Right. Uh, okay. Um, okay, well, college basketball, my leadership journey, my relationship with Mila, uh, it all pretty much ends in the same spot championship game mm -hmm, exactly so how are you feeling going into that game all right well oil machine get at least eight team highlight plays never tell me to ask get at least eight solo highlight plays do you know we need that boost to the three-point shooting mid-range <laughs> We were going up against a team that was blazing hot, that was 38 and 0. 38 and 0. But I knew, one, well, unfortunate for them, that one of the things that was standing in the way of a perfect season was your boy. Okay. <laughs> you were pretty confident. Well, if I'm being honest, I was nervous. I mean, you don't play in those kind of games without any kind of nerves. But you're right, you know, I was confident too. You know, I, was, I was feeling it a little bit. But in moments like that, you have to be. You know, or else the team won't come with you. Mm. They've got to look at you and see that you're the guy that's going to take them there. They don't want to see any cracks. You have to be solid. Right. So in that moment, you learn how to dial in. So can you walk me through that game? Yeah, for sure. Um, so the story starts the day before the game. Um, I was meeting my soon-to-be agent, Ricky. So that's what you're going to get from me. A hustler that's willing to put your needs in front of his own. And I'm telling you now, I have never had a single client that was unhappy with my representation. Okay, all right. How many clients you got? Uh, well, just one. But, <laughs> but look, I'm, I'm telling you, he really likes me, just, man. Okay. Not just because we're friends first. What's this client's name, then? It's MP. But the, the, the other one. MP? MP? <laughs> Yo, that's where I know you from. You're the guy who got him into all that big YouTube stuff, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, bro, I'm a big fan, yo, man. Yo, bro, I thought you were only coming for more support, man. Yeah, I thought you was meeting with a random agent. You got to sign with this dude, bro. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But it's not weird, you know, having two clients by the name of MP. Like, of all the names someone can name somebody, we both end up as MP. Hey, look, oh. life's a mystery, man. And mm. If I'm being honest with you, I'm just trying to corner the market on guys with those initials. And you are the only thing in the way stopping me from completing the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to think about it, man. Well, that's I all I can go. ask. I gotta I go. Go. Yeah, good luck tomorrow, man. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk soon. That was abrupt. Yeah. You know people say I remind them of the original MP? Yeah, no, not that guy. Yeah. Yeah, I can kind of see that, actually. Like in, a, in an alternate universe or something? You know, like a, like a rap career? Fashion designer. <laughs> yeah, maybe like an apartment. Another apartment. Another apartment they all kind of look alike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, that'd be wild. Hey, well, it was nice meeting you, man. Yes, sir. How did you know that? Thanks for asking. It's been fun, a lot really? of work, but hey, I didn't know if I should say anything that looked official. It's all right, it's all right. What are you doing here? Well, it's the national championship game and they needed a little extra support, so the AD gave me some free tickets. 
Yeah, they're incredible seats, so I can sell them for a huge profit. <laughs> Kidding. Hey, so I've been thinking about what MP, I spoke we about gotta go. You're really about to be late, man. You are not about to embarrass yourself. Mila. Hey, How Ryan. How you doing, girl? MP, let's go. Uh huh. Hey, MP. You got this. Thanks. Welcome everyone to the college basketball championship game presented by 2K Sports. Joined by Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm Forrest Hunt. We're delighted to have you with us. In this game, we'll see the Michigan State Spartans against the North Carolina Tar Heels. And for Agnew, Brown, and Parham, they're hey. on the verge of greatness. Big Sitting money. At 38 Michigan State, they're 38 the now. They're looking great. Yeah, but that won't mean a thing if they can't finish the job. A win here would be the crown jewel in their season. You know, Greg, that's a lot of pressure. I know he ain't pulled that. Game, but the wow. That came right to me. I should have just nothing more than the I should have just stayed there. I would have had a free rebound. Pass to Parham. Here's McLeod. Stolen. Give me that. And with their big three, this team has been number one in the nation. With it. He's covered by Thompson. Pass to McLeod. Mm. Maybe that was a steal. Count that one. And MP and the rest of this roster, they played their best. But it's better than most of guys. Hey, why not? Give you a step back. Hey, hey, come here, get this step back. Woo. Hey, Space Crater's crazy. He can be the engine that drives them at any given Especially in the mid-range area. Now here's that's the game plan here tonight. Why is the cheerleaders on the court? Bro, get off the court. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, bro. I saw it at the last minute. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Why would... <laughs> There's no way they started the game. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I couldn't even talk about how good the oop was. his first foul of the game. I couldn't even talk about how good the oop was. <laughs> and here's Agnew. He's got six. Here's Brown. Brown going crazy. Pass to McLeod. He got that burner on. Agnew outside. Shot clock at six. Come on. Come on. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. <laughs> and we on the comeback. Don't call it a comeback, baby. Now 
Random Pugs. Come on. I know we missed that pass. I know we missed that pass. But I had to make sure the jumper was cash. I'm sorry, you was wide open. We had to pass, but you know, the jumper is always cash, so don't worry. Oh, look at that. They don't respect it. Bless up. Oh, my God. Oh, good rebound. Again, off the mark from North Carolina. Hayward with it. Sanders covering. Red for three. On they get it back. Second chance shot. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one, drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect. Ah, he can't shoot free throws. Oh, foul him every time. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm going to stop and pop it. Because they disrespected my jumper. Look, when you're slipping on your pimping, there's only one thing you possibly could be doing. You over there simping. Board. Here's Lambert. And it's going to be two free throws. The contact that is so nasty. Like, why did they just bail him out? And Ball don't lie. Ball don't lie. And he's good on the second. Ball lied that time, but the ball don't lie. Hey. And there's another one for the Tar Heels. Look at the three years that MP has been here. A lot of great moments for him already. You wonder if he'll add another here in the championship game. Pass to Parham. Hayward with it. Oh, and there's the LU. The I saw it coming. Oh, That's you know, ah. the game like few others. Well, it don't matter. Somebody's about to get baptized. This is going to be you. Is it going to be you? He to hey, it's going to be somebody. He did. And there were questions if that was the right choice. But he's clearly grown his game while here. A great college career, and he can still add to it tonight. Pass to Brown. Here's McLeod, covered by MP. To the paint. The kick out to Brown. Cloud. No good with the triple. Hey. Double team MP. Inside. Mayo. Woo. Power down. We throwing dots on dots on dots. Johnny Mayo. Now, here's Lambert. I ain't gonna lie, that name kind of cold. I ain't gonna lie. Pass to Hayward. Second chance effort, and it's good on the lay-in. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. Hey. Hayward with the steal. Now Parham. I'm upset I let that get stolen. And here's Lambert. Pass to Hayward. Look that back door cut. Thompson, a star effort in the clutch. No he just did that hot line bling. <laughs> Timeout called the Spartans.
Agnew outside. They got 44 seconds. They about to just throw up something. They're desperate. You know what happened to people when they're desperate? They'll do anything. They'll do anything. Look, they're desperate. They're trying to find a three. They're trying to find a three. Maybe they got, ooh. See, look, they're trying to find a three. They're desperate. Look at them. They're desperate. They're trying everything. And we let them get it. Come on. And they go to the intentional foul. Can't let him hold the ball just milk those last seconds away. No. Uh, that's why I tried to go get the ball. Dude, man. Pussy, man. A nigga like me, man. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. Be feeling like one of the ball playing niggas, you know. Hey. Bird, magic, or something. Yeah, you know a nigga got dough. A nigga could leave the league. But if I leave, let's see. The fans still gonna love me, man. Let's see, that's a game winner. I was like, I don't know. I got blocked. I was like, I just sold. But I had to get that gold. <laughs> Never fold. you guys split and honestly it's pathetic he sits on the bus and he cries I'm you know, just shoot you. No, look. and you come on mila you came all this way for a free ticket no you love this boy so stop playing and let's just figure it out quickly please right. come on i mean if you're gonna have that baby agent come i saw yesterday he represented you then i think you might need me around for some advice what are you doing homie bad up okay now that this is settled, can we please go back to Russell? Them are the type of friends that you need in your life. Them are the type of friends. This cameraman terrible, I ain't gonna lie though. But them the type of friends you need in your life. That man got his girl back for him in like five seconds. Well, he was trying to do that whole night. But that game winner was crazy. <laughs> you know the haters gonna be like, oh, that wasn't on Hall of Fame. <laughs> but look at that, 1.6 multiplier. That's how you know I play on Hall of Fame. It's not a game over here, all right? Remember that? Yeah. That was an actual news story. Yeah, uh, something like 18 million people watched me and my girlfriend get back together. Yeah, um, oh, with an assist from my boy Red. I guess that beats the social media post. Mm -hmm. I had seen that clip, but I never realized the game before it was so good. So leading your team to a college basketball championship? That's quite the culmination of your leadership journey. No, uh, the culmination was getting back together with Mila, if I'm being honest. How so? Man, I was really willing to make myself miserable in order to win. But once we won, you know, I realized that that misery was what I was going to be stuck with. Um, I think I told you that I need to figure out how to be the best version of myself, right? Mm. 
Well, the best version of me is with my girlfriend, Mila. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's really sweet. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I mean, that doesn't mean it's always easy or that I'm always going to be the best version with her. Uh, but she put up with a lot. And I know that I will always fall short if I'm not with her. And that's pretty much how I became the best version of myself. And hopefully, you know, the other guys in the locker room can see that and uh, want that for themselves, too. So it's about the balance. Isn't everything? I guess it is. All right. Well, thank you so much, MP. This has been a truly remarkable journey. It's my pleasure, Anna. So that's all you got? I mean, I do have a couple basketball yeah, no, questions. No, go for it. Shoot. Let's hear it. <laughs> okay, so in your second round game, mm -hmm. there's about eight minutes left in the first half, and you guys start a fast break. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at you. <laughs> you have come such a long way. Oh, I can't believe Book gave you his Kobe's. Those are impossible to get. What you know about some limited edition Kobe's, girl? Oh my lord, Jesus. Jesus. Now, the Jets offense gets ready to now that's crazy. Oh, look at this. Oh, one man to beat. It's a race to the pylon. Woo. I'll get it right back every time. Do your dance, do your dance. Hey. <laughs> I said I wanted to break a long run, and I did. I finally did.